Does anyone have a question? Stuart, I have a question. Um, what to do when uh, when fear, when not when fear, but when doubt, when doubt creeps in? You know, the best thing I can advise you is just open your heart and be grateful for what has taken place in your life over the last year. How much you've grown, how much you've changed. Um, I mean, that's the quickest way to get rid of doubt. To look at the wonderful things. I mean, yes, you've been through a number of tragedies over the last year or so. But out of them came a really strong person and a person who has made, recommitted herself to having a spiritual life. And in that recommitment, I have seen you grow enormously, Wendy, enormously. You're a changed person. Even your face is different, you know? That's something to be grateful for. And when you ha open your heart, all your doubts go away. Unless you look out at a world where everything you see is sacred. Everything you see is wonderful. So doubt is just closing your heart. That's all it is. And, um, and the, the to resolve those, the, it's just so simple to just stay. What has taken place for me in the last three months? And then that desire in yourself or not only you and everybody to continue to build on the positive energy and to understand that doubt will always come along. I don't care how advanced you are, how spiritual you are, there's always going to be something like that in your life. What am I doing? I will, blah, 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 blah. And it's a test. Can you overcome the doubt and continue this deep inner work and to continue to grow in yourself? It's a test. And without those tests, you know, we honestly don't grow. We need to be tested in some way. Are we taking it for granted? Are we not grateful for what is taking place in our lives? Are we not grateful to, you know, I mean, just to Pingo, to your mother, to all these people who have given you so much in your life? And gratitude towards them and to God and your what's happened to you, it will eliminate doubt and just go away. Stop beating yourself up. You don't have to beat yourself up. <laughs> I mean you're really a wonderful person. And I you know and you don't have to create doubts so but when they come, and they will come, all right, this is what I got to work with. This is what I have to, this is my test. And I'm not going to let it get the best. I mean, sometimes I have doubts about what I'm doing, you know, really. And it's just a test. And I look at the faces of everyone sitting here and say, my God, you know, this is really worth doing. Thank you, Stu. You're welcome. I'm glad you have a little doubt. It'll make you work a little harder on yourself. That's, that's good. <laughs> I 
And just remember, you're very loved, Wendy, by many people. Kind, really good person. And to be honest with you, Bingo would want most for you, most, is you to move on and have an extraordinarily happy life. I mean, she will dance and sing in the cosmos if you do that. We mean that. And she's already dancing and singing to God. You can't stop her. You know? <laughs> But she'll dance even more if you have a really wonderful, happy life. Does anyone else have a question? Stuart, earlier today, you and I were talking about the, the money exercise that you went over last night. My least favorite topic, Jennifer, but I'll, do you want me to go over it again? <laughs> yeah. Well, you said you had a different way to describe it. And so... yeah. Well, I talked about you know having an image of your astral being sitting above there. You don't need that when you do this exercise. All you need to do is to go in a state, do the double breathing exercise, go into a deep state of meditation and just project gold coins flowing through your crown chakra from the cosmos. So you don't need the astral body and then let it flow right through the chakra system and out through you onto what you want to nurture financially. Not yourself, but you know, for me, getting money to uh, once again build another meditation center. You know, and everybody has family, friends, people that are ill that might need money. You know, I mean, just do that, but don't let it fall on you because you'll become like every other creep on Wall Street. <laughs> I hope nobody works on Wall Street. But just let, you know, project the image of gold coins flowing right into the crown chakra through your system, out through, right through you, onto loved ones, family, whatever, you know? Whatever you're grateful for in your life. If you belong to some charity and you do some not for profit work, you might want it to go there, you know? And then along with that will come all the money you need to live your life. You won't get more than you need, I promise you. They have never given me more than I need. But <laughs> my needs were pretty advanced at one point. <laughs> I mean, I needed a lot. And they gave me a lot. They really did. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, if there are no more questions, then there'll be meditation on Wednesday. Now, one other thing I wanted to, to talk about, this summer, many people just 
literally have vanished. And I haven't seen people for a month, two months this summer. And I began about a week ago just taking people off of my list because there's nothing I can do for them. They come back, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, part of learning this is the consistency of attendance and and staying connected with the person teaching it and doing whatever you can to help support the situation. And just the presence in, in this class helps to support the situation. So when people vanish, you know, it's it's very hard on me to take somebody's name off of this because I know how much value and benefit they can get from they really do this in depth. But at the same point, you understand, it drags on me. And I don't have to keep thinking about where people are and what they're doing and why they're not here. And, you know, why don't they at least drop a note and say, you know, I'm in, you know, I'm in Siberia, you know, <laughs> and I can't attend class. There's no Wi-Fi, something, you know. So I've taken, I would, you know, I, I say five, six, seven people off of my list in the last week or so, 10 days. I'm just telling you this because uh, it's important because it's like taking a chunk out of me. You're working with somebody, you're working with somebody, you're working with them and helping, and then they vanish. And they vanish. And you don't see them for two months and they're gone. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's like taking a chunk out of my heart. I had somebody today sent me an email that they just bought a house in Sweden and, you know, they've been very busy and, you know, and they would like to, you know, they, would, they want to be in class, but they just wanted me to know what they were doing, you know. If I ever want to come to Sweden, you're always welcome to the house. You know, I mean, that's wonderful. I'm not here to control people. It's not my purpose. What my purpose is, is that you work with somebody and you work with them and they and you really make a commitment to help. And then one day without a word, they vanish. And I think that is cheating the work very cheaply. So, I, you know, if you want to go away for a year, tell me. I have, I'm not going to control you. <laughs> you know, send me a postcard every now and then. And you'd always be welcome to come back in the class. I mean that. I'm not controlling. But when people take it for granted and just assume, or they, they're finished and they don't want to tell me that, you know, whatever it is, you know, I think it's just bad taste, you know. It's really bad taste. And I, I do make a commitment to every single person that attends these classes, whether they're here for one day or for you know, people for years that have been coming. All right, enough of this. Thank you. God bless you. And i looking forward to seeing everybody to be close on Wednesday. If you can't make it, it's all right. Send me a note. I, can, I can't make it. I'll see you on Thursday. You know what? Whatever. Thank you, sir. God bless you all, and I will see you all soon. Good night, Stuart. Good night. Thank, Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.